as we take communion now, I hope that it will really be a moment that touches you spiritually. We only have symbols, of course, a symbol of bread and a symbol of wine. They in themselves don't mean anything, but it's the spiritual encounter through the Holy Spirit that we seek. That as we remember the fact that Jesus died, he gave his life. As we remember the fact that he gave up all that he had so that our sins could be forgiven, that we could enter into the love of God. Those things are important. So bread, here it is. I've just got a bit here. I'm going to break that in a few moments. In fact, it's already broken. But suffice it to say, when we eat this, we're saying, Lord Jesus, I'm dependent on you. You are my spiritual food. You are my bread. When I drink the wine in a moment, here it is, slightly different cut. There's some there. We're again saying we're dependent on him for his life flow, for his spiritual input, as it were, into our lives, that we can't make it without him. We're declaring in these moments that we want to just rest with him for a while. We're, we're saying in these moments that he is the restorer of our souls. We're saying in these few moments as we take this, that he is our Lord and our King. And we're saying that he is the one who has everything we need for our lives in all that we've got to do and in the situation we find ourselves in. So he says, come with me by yourselves, by yourself. Come with me, pause, be still and know that I'm God. Find rest, O our souls, in God alone. Let's have some peace, shall we, as we take this. So on the night he was betrayed, took the bread and he broke it and said, eat this in memory of me. in these moments you'd just like to confess your sins perhaps there's someone you need to forgive I may need to talk to them about that maybe you're just crying out within something like Jesus give me rest give me rest let me spiritually draw from you today for you are the well of salvation Bread of heaven, feed me now and evermore. On that same night, he took the cup, which was full of wine. He said, this is my blood shed for you. Drink this in memory of me. So, Father, we thank you for broken body of Jesus. We thank you for his shed blood. And we will drink this until he comes again. Thank you that the blood is our forgiveness. The blood is our justification. The blood is our peace. And the shed blood overcomes the enemy. Hallelujah. Thank you for the blood. For the life of Jesus. Even for the world. So we rest. Amen.
God bless everybody. It's difficult doing a reflective communion online. It's not the same. It's been difficult in, on other occasions in the past when I've done it this way. But my hope is one day we'll be able to do a reflective communion back together again as one people in the building. And I think it will be a very special occasion when we do. But anyway, there's some lots of thoughts in what I've said tonight. And hopefully there'll be things you can be thinking about afterwards because time is limited now. But I trust that you will have encountered Jesus in some way today. God bless you. Come with me, he said. And we can do that any time, every day. Amen.